I must note that it is interesting how or what can consume us is sometimes functioning through God's grace. This great fish was actually an agent of God's grace. See, the great fish, which is not, uh, well, was not more precisely defined in the text, uh, although identified as a whale, was not a whale. <laughs> because whales were extremely rare in the Mediterranean Sea and a whale has too small of a throat to swallow a man whole. The miracle in this story, however, consists not in the fact that Jonah was swallowed alive as in the fact that he was kept alive for three days in the fish's belly and then vomited unhurt upon the land. The three days and three nights are not to be regarded as fully three times 24 hours, but are to be interpreted according to Hebrew usage as signifying that Jonah was vomiting up on the third day after he had been swallowed. Now, most people marvel that Jonah was swallowed or consumed by the fish, but allow me to share this revelation with you and keep it in mind, as I stated earlier, the miracle was not that a fish could swallow a man, but that the man was not digested after being swallowed. See, when a larger sw fish swallows a smaller fish whole, the swallowed fish often remains alive for some time within the predator's stomach. Because uh, uh, this is a process, uh, the digestive uh, system takes uh, time to fully uh, incapacitate and break down the prey that it is swallowed. This process normally takes place within a 24-hour period, depending on factors such as the relative size difference between the predator and the prey, the prey's physiology, and the predator's digestive efficiency. Ultimately, the swallowed fish will succumb to the acidic environment of the predator's stomach, leading to its eventual digestion. When something is digested, it is changed by a biological process into simpler forms that can be used by the body. So to be digested means to be dissolved, to disappear, to dissipate, or to vanish. 